Hi everyone, this is Graham Allen coming to you from North London. Um, first of all, thanks to Rob Ison, um, who has a extremely good um, vinyl and CD channel. Um, there was a possibility of bumping into Rob last Sunday on a, a journey from Manchester to London um, via a record fair that I'd mentioned to him and in fact he ended up going to and has done a video about it um, which I recommend watching. Rob's a great guy, uh, likes his um, psych, folk, um, and just really interesting stuff as well, some um, kraut rock type stuff and um, uh, German synth stuff as well. So recommend him. Um, and he mentioned uh, on his channel, so thanks very much for that. And it got me thinking about um, putting together a few albums um, that I've, I've bought. One on a trip to uh, Budapest uh, and then other others I've been collecting along the way. So I'm going to get on with it. Uh, first of all, I got this. Um, this is a Bahrainian uh, progressive rock band called Osiris. I don't think this is actually an official release. It's on the Prog Temple uh, label, which I think is a little bit of a grey label in between. Um, but it's an excellent album. I really like it. Uh, kind of unusual, as you might expect. It's from 1981. And the nearest I could um, compare it to would be a the British band Camel. Uh, but it's really, really good. Got some great synthesizer solos, very uh, competent drumming and guitar playing as well. And actually some great vocals. Uh, they sing in English and I've done quite a few albums. In fact, there's a video on YouTube uh, with regard to a reunion concert not that long ago. I think it was about 2017, something like that. So that's Osiris, not an easy album to find, um, but really, really good stuff. Um, and as I said, that's on the Prog Temple label. Next is a band uh, I went to see locally in North London. Incredibly, they played um, at a pretty small pub in Hampstead, uh, in North London. And I went to see them really for the drummer and the bass player. So the bass player is Hadrian Faro, um, who is kind of known as a millennium Jaco Pastorius. I'm a huge fan of Jaco Pastorius. He's a sensational French bass player, Hadrian. And he's on, on this, he plays with Greg Spiro on keyboards, who's the main writer for this band called Spirit Fingers. This is modern fusion. Um, quite acoustic at times, a lot of piano, not really that much synthesizer. Um, very, very strong drummer on here, Mike Mitchell, um, who's been playing with Stanley Clark. Um, the bass playing is absolutely sensational. There's a lot of very fiery bass solos on here, if you like that kind of thing. And there's some lovely guitar as well quite often nylon strung guitar so um, really good uh, happy to get this and I've seen them twice in London with different setups different drummers but Hadrian Farrow is always there on bass and he is absolutely fantastic so double album um, really really good and that's a 2017 uh, release so Greg Spiro on piano the main composer uh, and Mike Mitchell on drums on this, who, who has said is a very fiery jazz fusion player. Really good album if you like modern jazz fusion. Next we go to Finland and we have Pekka Pajola, who is a fusion bass player. This is called The Mathematician's Air Display. This is a really good album, just classy, late 70s fusion, pretty busy, lovely bass solos on this. Uh, and the, one of the connections here that people know is that Mike Oldfield plays on this, some guitar on this, and also Pekka, I think, was involved with the Mike Oldfield um, touring band in the late 80s. So he's a great bass player. Um, I didn't really know anyone else on the album apart from Mike Oldfield, of course. I should say Pierre Moerlin turns up on this. 
and he's from Gong. There's a Gong album. Pierre Moella was in the, um, the fusion version of Gong uh, in the mid to late 70s. So really good, um, busy, late 70s jazz fusion. It's just called Pekka, P-E-K-K-A. His full name is Pekka Pajola, the mathematician's air display. Another fusion classic, one of my favorite bass players, Alfonso Johnson, Moon Shadows. This was a, a, a trio of albums that he put together um, after Weather Report, after he left Weather Report, replaced by Jaco Pastorius. Alfonso Johnson, very unique sound on fretless bass, wonderful, busy, uh, mid to late 70s jazz fusion, and just a stellar cast on this. Um, it's got George Duke on keyboards, Flora Purim doing some vocals, Narada Michael Walden on drums, uh, Acuna uh, on percussion. There's some terrific stuff. Lee Ritnor on um, guitar on some of this. So highly recommended, 1977 this, Moon Shadows, Alfonso Johnson. Great, great bass player. Then we have um, some uh, progressive rock from the Netherlands. This is Trace, Rick van der Linden, who was... Sorry, my battery, I think, is about to run out, so I better, better speed up. Rick van der Linden um, from um, Exception. Um, Ian Mosley, who people will know as drummer from Marillion, this is way before then, and Jaap van Eyck on uh, bass so trio driven keyboards this is a japanese pressing really nice to get hold of this it's called birds it's from 1978 i think it is um and it's just keyboard driven progressive rock very very good then we have uh omega five uh this is a hungarian progressive rock band this is similar to things like uriah heap keyboard, uh, Hammond-driven, uh, bluesy rock, really. Not not really my sort of stuff. It wasn't as progressive as I thought it was going to be. I took a bit of a punt on this, um, but it's it's not really uh, keyboard-driven enough for me. Um, there's some good guitar on there and some good vocals as well. But that's uh, a Hungarian band called Amiga, and this is their fifth album. Uh Last couple, this is Asana, who are a progressive rock band from Naples in Italy. This is a bit of a classic. Again, I was a little bit disappointed with this. Uh, it's pretty avant-garde. Their album, the album name is Pelepoli. Um, it's a gatefold sleeve. Um, sort of classic early Italian progressive rock. You never quite know what you're going to get. Um, I, again, I, I'd have wanted a bit more keyboards. There's actually not that much on here, certainly not much synthesizer. So it, it doesn't really fit with Le Orme and PFM, who are my two favorite pro Italian progressive rock bands, but it's an interesting album. Uh, I'm very lucky to pick this up, um, funny enough, on the trip to Manchester. And lastly, I'm gonna, uh, this was online, I was struggling to get hold of this. It's the last uh, of a great run of albums by a keyboard trio from uh, Germany called Triumvirate. Uh, Mediterranean Tales was their debut album on the Harvest label. Really strong uh, keyboards, synthesizer, very, very good uh, vocals on here as well. Um, very much in the vein of Emerson, Lake and Palmer, so keyboard-driven trio, uh, progressive rock. Okay, I'm going to sign off because the battery is just about to go. So hope everyone's keeping well and speak to you all soon.